Welcome to this channel, Mathematics with the Complex Analyzer. In this tutorial, we'll talk about functions, the basic idea behind functions, what functions are, and the terms that are related with functions. We'll talk about it. Now, what is a function? First of all, what is a function? A function is a relation between two sets, let's say x and y, in which each member of the set X is related to one and only one member of set Y. So actually, a function is a relation. We can also call a function a mapping. Okay? So a function is a relation between two sets, X and Y. Let's talk about it in details. We want to identify the functions that we have here. At the definition, a function is a relation between two sets, x and y, in which each member of the set x is related to one member of the set y. Okay, so in this case now, this is set x with members a, b, c, d. Each of them is related to only one member in set y. So this is a function. Okay, this is a function since it satisfies the definition of a function. What about this? Set X, set Y. Set X has members W, Y, and Z. Set Y has members 0, 10. Okay, W is related to 0. Z is related to 10. Y has no relation. Okay, so this is not a function because one of the members of set X is not related to any member of set y so this is not a function now what about this is this a function okay set x has members x1 x2 x3 set y has y1 y2 y4 y3 okay i just interchange their position y3 y4 now x1 is related to y1 x2 is related to both y2 and y4 x3 is related to y3. This is not a function because one member of set x is having two relations in set y. A relation is a function if one member of set x is related to only one in set y. In this case, one is related to two, so it is not a function. It is just a relation. There are some terms that are used in functions. Let's see them. You know, in a function, based on the definition of a function, each member of set X has a value in set Y. Has just one value in set Y. Okay? So, that value in set Y that is related to that value in set X is called the image. This is what I'm talking about. A is related to 1. B is related to 2, C is related to 3, and as well, D is related to 4. All these output values here that has their respective relations in X are called images. So, 1 is the image of A, likewise, 2 is the image of B, 3 is the image of C, and 4 is the image of D. That is all we mean by image. Another term we will consider is domain, domain of a function. So, the domain of a function is the set X, which contains the input values of the very function. We just discover that a function is a relation between two sets, X and Y. The set X is called the domain because it has all the input values. It is those values in set X that are mapped onto set Y. A, B, C, D, all of them, they are in set X. We call this set X the domain. Just as we have domain, we also have codomain. So we call Y the codomain because it is a set of all possible outputs, range of a function. The range of a function is that subset of the codomain which consists of all the possible images of all members of the domain x there is a difference between the range and the codomain 
this must be noted i am going to give show you a function or a relation to strike a difference between the range and the what codomain you will understand this definition clearer after that example watch till the end look at this very relation of two sets x and y now we call set x the domain we call set y the codomain because it is the set of all possible output values okay now we can see that minus 2 is related to 4 minus 1 is related to 1 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 4 3 is related to 9 all these numbers here 2 10 3 5 7 have no relation in the domain okay so these ones that have a relation in the domain we call it the range that's the set of all numbers that are connected directly to each input values in the domain it is what we call the range so the range is actually a subset of the entire codomain so this is the difference between the range and the codomain i hope you understand this haven't talked about images domain codomain range of a function let us talk about the function notation how functions are written and how they are read okay now a function or which is a relation between two set x and y can be written in different ways one of the ways is what you can see here and this is read as f is the function such that x is mapped onto set y or we can say the function of f from set x to set y this is one way to write a function which is the relation between two sets we can also write this in the form of an equation okay now y is equal to f of x there is a difference between my small y and the capital y the small x and the capital x i have been using capital x and y to show the set okay this small y represents a value in the range okay this x the small x represents a value in the domain so from here we can say something that the value of y depends on the value of x okay whatever x is it will produce a unique value of y this f bracket x is read as f of x good so take note of this so since the value of y depends on the value of x we call y the dependent variable and we call x independent variable take note of that okay y is called the dependent variable x is called the independent variable because the value of y depends upon the value of x all right so this is an introduction to functions and in the next video we are going to talk about the domain of a function will solve some problems don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like don't forget to share this video to your friends and to your course mate i'll see you in the next video